Hello YouTube, welcome back to Live Tommy C. I'm your uh, host uh, Tommy Cunningham. I want you to talk about today's subject. Today's subject is regarding your radio frequencies in the different Caribbean islands. So, 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 so my thought on this is that, is that so much that they put into like the different radio frequencies. Now, now, now I know that Miami-Dade County has like almost four systems for each place because Miami International Airport has their own system. Homestead International Airport International Speedway. Daytona International Speedway has a, a DMR system. And and also and also lay guys now. So, so, so kind of like my input on it, I think it's like, like really, really kind of interesting, like, like how, how many people like go to like, like all these places, like to, like to Walt Disney World. Like to, um, like to the, like to, like to the back roads of somewhere. And, and kind of like the Daily Woo, he, he currently stopped going to Walt Disney World in this this has made it real interesting because now he is inside different and different amounts of towns. So, so also let you guys know that, that, that what I think which is really interesting about this like Georgia has like four systems, okay? Georgia has a Southwest Georgia. They have a Southeast Georgia system. Atlanta Public Safety P25. Um, and, and the Cobb County system the DeKalb County system. Now, Cherokee County in North Carolina, they are all centimized on their, on their North Carolina Viper system. Now, that's a system that we got to talk about. Now, the North Carolina Viper system, I think, why in the world do you need to make a Viper system as like a radio system? Because Asheville, North Carolina has like their own system. So does Raleigh, North Carolina. So does uh, Charlotte. So... So like also this is what the Daily Woo looks like. He's like a YouTuber that I like to follow, but sadly he's not going to Walt Disney because he has some some stuff that that he doesn't like about there right now. And and also lay guys now. And also lay guys now. If you guys are going on like a, like going across the country, 
like to uh, Niagara Falls, their radio system, they use a P-25 Phase 2 system as the Niagara County, uh, as the Niagara, Can Niagara Region radio system. Now, now the Niagara County has like their own system on like, on like Facebook. Uh, on like on like the different areas like like you guys are probably wondering Tommy Tommy like where in the world do you think of this stuff in in a and I just been doing my research on rareference.com. So, so right now I'm going to tell you guys about a system which I think, which is really that needs to be taken away. Like, like if we click on New York and we click on Niagara County. Now, now Niagara County, like their lockport system, it says their fire dispatches by the Niagara County Police. So North Tondawanda has town and police on on the Niagara County system. Now, Seneca, Niagara Casino Hotel, they have put like, like Talk Group 68, like they got like a management. Like, I'm thinking, like, who in the world wants to listen to management? Because cause right now, management has been so different right now. Like, I want to tell you guys a couple different facts about what I think which needs to be done on these radio systems. Like, number one, I think they need to, like, look at them, think about what needs to be encrypted. Like, I think the SRT needs to be encrypted. And I, and I also think, like in Florida, they have the Florida Highway Patrol. Their dispatch needs to be not taken away to public people that like to listen to radio scanners. Well... Well... Well, 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 also let you guys know that there are like so many like, like different areas for like different people. So like you guys have like the FRS, GMRS radios. You guys have like the, uh, the radios of like the workplace. You guys have like radios that the police use. You guys have radios that the public safety uses. And the radios like the public works and a couple of the universities. Well, I'm thinking, like, why in the world do we need, like, radio systems like these? Like, Like, I can understand why, why Bloomington Transit needs, like, a radio system. I can understand why the city of Bedford needs one. Well, 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 um, 
Well, I think they just need some help. Like a couple of their radio systems are like not even a good a good radio system. So 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 also lay guys now. Like the zoos, because they are all big, I think they need radio systems. I think, I think like aquariums, like the new, like the Newport Aquarium. I think the uh, the the aquarium of the um, Ripley's Aquarium needs some because Ripley's Aquarium. It's like so big. You guys got one in Gatlinburg. You guys got one in Myrtle Beach. And like the places where the casinos are, like we were looking up on my computer, which I'll show you. This is what the Niagara County system looks like. So, 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 so also lay guys know that, that, that you guys can find like so much like different radio stuff when you guys go, go like to different places. Like number one, you guys can find like radio stuff inside the mall. Well, I think that's really interesting. So, like, sometimes my Baofeng UV5R will pick that up. If I got it on the right frequency. Well, if they use DMR, kind of like Cook and Catalan, they both use that. All right, guys. That's it for today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. And make sure you guys hit that, that, that subscribe and that notification bell. And we will talk, talk about stuff like this as it comes. Alright guys, see you later.